Hello, my name is Daniel Thao. I'm also known as Paradigm. I've recently taken a break from some of the other projects I've been working on to create a thin plugin called SkyBison, and figured it would be worthwhile to make a video which both explains the rationale behind SkyBison as well as demonstrates its use. The key driving force behind the creation of SkyBison was dissatisfaction within its command line. Clearly, I'm not the only one that feels this way. There's already a plethora of plugins out there which um, can be used in place of things like the buffer command or the tag command or say the edit command. However, I feel these all go back the wrong way. Instead of fixing specific commands, you should just fix the command line, and all of the resulting commands will be much more pleasant to use. So I made SkyBison to, uh, to help alleviate a few annoyances that I had with the command line. These are probably best enumerated um, while, while showing the default out-of-the-box command line in use. So here's my VimRC. Let's say I want to jump to the part of my VimRC that has my SkyBison settings. I have C tags set up to recognize my second headers, so I can use the tag command to jump to uh, that specific section. So I know the section starts with SkyBison, and let's pretend I don't remember the rest of the section name, um, in which case uh, it's not sufficient information there. I can hit Control D or Tab, depending on your wild menu settings, to um, have them list off the, the options you have at any given point in time in the command line. Well, that's nice. I think it's silly you have to ask for that. I think Vim should just constantly show you your options. That's notice number one. Notice number two is here, I've shown enough information at this point to uniquely identify one of the options. Vim knows I only have one option, as it shows there with Control-D. I don't understand why it makes me keep typing. It should just go. That's really annoying number two. So here I have to tab and then enter, and that works, and that gets me where I want to go, but um, it's not as pleasant as it could be. So uh, let me do that again, this time with Sky Bison, to show you uh, those annoyances being fixed. So first, it immediately starts showing me my options. Um, once I've typed enough to show Sky Bison, it shows me those two options I had before. I didn't have to hit Control D, I didn't have to go tab, it just goes. Moreover, um, once I've uniquely identified uh, one of the options, so here I can hit P, it jumps to it. I don't have to hit tab, I don't have to hit enter, that is sufficient information, information for it. Um, that's really the key idea. That's all it is. It's, it's a relatively simple plugin. However, instead of uh, that gets applied to everything. Um, so let's say for another example, buffers. Here I have four buffers open, and I want to jump to my say Z shell. I only have to hit, hit one key. Once I hit Z, that is sufficient information to equally identify one of the options, and it goes to it. Um, or let's say file system navigation. Um, I can go to Vim. Now here. So bundle, there's only one option here, however, if Vim selects that option, it goes into netrw for the bundle directory. I don't want that, I want something deep into it. So for the edit command, uh, I've disabled the auto enter, however, it still prompts me. Uh, if I want to, I can hit enter and go to that directory. So I can type skybison, let's say I want to go to my um, documentation. I don't want to have the tab here, it, I've typed sufficient information, I can just hit enter. Um, if I don't notice that prompt, I can keep typing and there's no harm. Um, when I hit, hit enter, it goes there. Uh, one really nice thing about this is since it applies to everything, I found it's useful over commands I didn't originally foresee. Like help command, I use all the time. I didn't realize how often I hit I hit the tab key to give me more information. So, um, so I want to go to help command again for Sky Bison since I'm already on a kick for that. Um, it shows me the options, which is nice. I can see the various subsections. So if I want to go to, say, the usage stuff for it, I can do that uh, pretty quickly. Um, Let's see, what else is there? We have MRC, let's go to SkyBison. Uh, yeah, here's a good example. Um, another, another thing that should be mentioned is a lot of people like fuzzy finding. Um, it's a huge number of plugins already use that, so at, at popular request, I've added fuzzy finding to SkyBison. You can just hit that, and now when I do something, let's say mappings, um, it's all fuzzy founded. So it found those things despite the fact that they're at the end. However, this ended up leading to a problem. Um, I, I've typed everything I can type, and it's not, it didn't, it didn't uh, select anything yet. So I could delete and retype everything, or I could move the cursor all the way back to the beginning. But instead, I have those numbers on the left, I can just hit one of those, and I find that sometimes more pleasant. So if I want to go to my sky based mappings, I can hit 7, and it, it jumps there. Um, so now with the mappings, I'll show you how to set it up. Uh, sky Bison is a function. The argument you give it is what you want the command line to start with. So here you see I use buffers and uh, and help 
and tags uh, quite a bit, so I made mappings specifically for those. However, I also have mappings, uh, so yeah, it's buffers, tags, uh, help and edit, I use quite a bit. Or just the blank command line, since it works there too. Um, it prompts me for anything, so there's, everything starts with bn, there's bnext if I was going to do that, for example. Um, it also works even after I do things like a pipe, uh, it just keeps going. Um, in addition to those, I have, uh, if you're already in the command line and you realize you'd like uh, sky bison, so say here, map tag, and map mappings, and I want to call sky bison, you can make a mapping to switch to it from within the normal use of the command line. Uh, you may notice I have a number here, the two there and there. If you prefix a number before you call the mapping, that's how you tell sky bison how many terms you'd like on it, so it automatically hits enter. So for um, buffers or tags or uh, help, I know there's going to be two terms. There's the command, either buffer, tag, or help, and then the argument for that. However, for edit, as I mentioned earlier, I didn't want it to automatically hit enter, so I didn't prefix a number for it. The reason I made it a prefix is, um, say for here, where I'm just giving a blank line and the mapping doesn't already know what command I'm going to do, you can prefix a number before you call that. So um, I could say hit uh, two, or I could do say three, and then call it, um, and then it would automatically hit enter once I've uniquely identified that last term. I think that's all the things I want to go over for Sky Bison. If you have uh, any questions, if you have any issues with it, anything else you'd like to see added, uh, go to the GitHub page or screen in the description below. Uh, I made a point of trying to make the code as clean as I could, so it, it should be pretty easy to go in there and hack if you have any issues. Uh, things like to change, and, and I don't want to upload, uh, I don't want to pull your change for whatever reason, or I don't want to implement it. You know how to do that yourself. Um, so yes, thank you.